I'm going to be showing you today how to make a no sew ballet skirt. So the things you're going to need are some scissors that are pretty sharp, or if you have it, um, a rotary cutter is, makes it really easy if you have one of these and a cutting mat. And you're going to need a pencil and some paper. And if you have um, some chalk or something to mark on your fabric, that's really nice. This is a disappearing ink pen. You can get one of these at a craft store. And then you're going to need some fabric. Um, you can really choose whatever kind of fabric you want. It does um, need to be a four-way stretch, so it should be able to stretch in like all directions. Um, this is a scrap of fabric I have left over. It's a really pretty shimmery purple. Okay, so to start with, we are going to have to do just a little bit of math. So if you have something that you can measure your waist with, um, a measuring tape, that's great. So you're going to start um, by measuring your waist. And you want it to be like right wherever you want your skirt to hit. So if you want it to sit at your belly button, you should measure there. If you want it to sit at your hips, you should measure there. Now, because I'm using this scrap of fabric... Um, I am going to make a child size skirt. So this is probably going to be smaller than what most of you will have. So I'm going to make this for a child with a 20 inch waist. And because this is a stretchy fabric, we're going to go ahead and minus five inches from that measurement. So we're going to use here this 15 inch circumference for our skirt. Okay, now, just in case you forgot, we do need to know some geometry here. The circumference is the measurement around the circle. The diameter is the measurement across the circle, and the radius is half of the diameter. So what we need to know here is the radius so that we can figure out how big of a hole we need to make in the middle of our skirt so you can fit it on over your hips. So the math here includes the equation that the circumference, in this case we're using the number 15 inches, remember, circumference should equal 2 times pi times the radius, okay? So if we remember pi is 3.14, so we have 15 is the circumference equals 2 times 3.14 times the radius. So that comes out to 15 equals 6.284 times the radius, if we do that little algebra there, those of you taking algebra should know what to do here. We have 15 divided by 6.284 equals the radius. In this case, we got 2.39. <sighs> so 2.39 is the radius of our circle. The next thing we're going to do is actually round this number down. Okay, so again, because we have this very stretchy fabric, um, we're going to round that radius down because at the end of the day, um, once you try your skirt on, if the hole in the middle is too small, you can always make it bigger. And that's better than if you make the hole too big and then it's falling off your hips. Because this is a no-sew skirt, it's going to stay on just by the fabric stretching over your hips. There's no other elastic or waistband to keep it up. So you want it to be kind of tight. Okay, so we're going to take our fabric, and you're going to start, you're going to fold it in half. Let's say you're working with a square. This is kind of cut up, but it's more or less a square. So we fold it in half, and then we're going to fold it in half again this way. Okay, now we want to make sure that our edges are lined up nice and neat. And I have this grid here, so I can go ahead and line up my folded square on the grid just to make sure everything is even. Okay, and then you want to make sure you smooth out any wrinkles, make sure nothing is folded under. Just make sure that in the corner here, you have all the folded edges, right? So this is the corner we're going to be working with, with all the edges folded. See over here, these are open edges. We don't want to go to that corner. These have open edges. 
open edges. So we don't want to be working in those corners. We want to be working over here where all the edges are folded. Okay, so because we said that our radius is two inches, we're going to go ahead and take your um, marker or chalk to mark your fabric. You're going to take two inches right from that corner and mark that this is going to be the hole for the waist. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to go all the way around right from that corner, just making a nice little circle. So as you can see, I just kind of marked out this little quarter of a circle here using this measuring tape going all the way around with my marker from the corner. So I should have two inches all the way around. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, once you have this radius marked out on your fabric, we're going to measure out the length of the skirt. So because this is a child's skirt, we're gonna do just eight inches. So we're gonna measure out from where you drew your line, from where you drew your radius line, eight inches all the way around. So starting here, I'm just gonna use my marker and at the eight inches, I'm gonna make a little line. And then I'm gonna do that from my radius line all the way around. Great, okay, so once you have all of that marked out, you are ready to cut your skirts. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and I'm gonna hold down the fabric with some weights. Okay, so as you can see, you just cut all the way along those lines and that should be good. Let's see how it turned out. All right, great, look at that. What a cute little skirt for a tiny human. So if you are trying to make this for someone your own size, um, probably you're gonna wanna do measurements closer to about 10 to 14 inches of length. For your skirt um, but that's up to you if you want to play with how long you want it in the front or the back you can totally do that too um, but yeah this is how it turned out so have fun making your own no-sew circle skirts